Hi, I'm David, and this is the Biology Classroom. This is AS Common Mistakes Part 4. Number 1. Stating that transpiration is the evaporation of water from the surface of a leaf. Evaporation is the formation of water vapor from water. It is converted from liquid form to gaseous form. It requires energy in the form of heat. In a plant, it accounts for the water loss from cell walls of spongy mass of few cells to the intercellular air spaces. Transpiration, on the other hand, is the loss of water vapor to the external atmosphere from the area parts of a plant. Water vapor diffuses down the water potential gradient through stomata. Number 2. Being unclear about the definition of a source and a sink. A source is the part where photosynthetic products are synthesized or where they enter phloem. Sink is the part where these products are delivered. Hence, it is not true that leaves are always the source and roots are always the sink. For example, starch in the potato tubers is delivered to the young leaves for growth after winter has passed. In this case, the root is the source and the young leaves are the sinks. Number 3. Not explaining clothes when asked to explain a closed double circulatory system. Apart from explaining, double means that blood has to complete the pulmonary and systemic circuits in a complete circulation. You should also explain that closed means the blood is always enclosed in the blood vessels. Number 4. Confusing cardiac cycle with a complete circulation of blood around the body. The cardiac cycle describes the cycle of events that occur during a heartbeat. It includes the systole and diastole of atria and ventricles. While a complete circulation of blood around the body should be a description of the structures, including heart chambers and vessels, the blood passes through in a circulation. Number 5. Comparing blood with lymph when asked to compare only plasma with lymph. Plasma only refers to the clear liquid part of the blood, so all the blood cells and platelets should be excluded in this comparison. Number 6. Stating that white blood cells are always in the blood. White blood cells have the ability to squeeze through the endothelium of tiny blood vessels. They can leave the bloodstream and enter other body tissue to fight against infections. Number 7. Confusing carbaminohemoglobin, carboxyhemoglobin, and hemoglobinic acid. Carbaminohemoglobin is a compound formed from hemoglobin and carbon dioxide. Carboxyhemoglobin is formed by hemoglobin and carbon monoxide. Hemoglobinic acid is a weak acid form when hydrogen ion combines with hemoglobin. Number 8. Stating that carbonic anhydrase catalyzes the dissociation of carbonic acid to hydrogen carbonate ions and hydrogen ions. Carbonic anhydrase catalyzes the formation of proton and bicarbonate ion from carbon dioxide and water. Number 9. Confusing the description of the initiation of heart action with a description of the cardiac cycle. When asked to describe the initiation of heart action, you should talk about the action of SAN, AVN, bundle of his, and perkine tissue which leads to a heartbeat. Number 10. Stating that ciliated cells are paralyzed. One of the effects of cigarette smoke is that the cilia of ciliated cells are paralyzed. You should not say the cells are paralyzed. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook. Thank you and see you again soon.